in this video, we're going to add some parameters to this bike rack family so that as we increase it in length, it'll add additional instances of the bike rack. For example, if I were to change the length on the parameter to any given number, you can see it'll increase the number of bike racks based on the length. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add a reference plane to establish the end point. So our, our center reference plane here is going to be the start, and this will be the end. The next thing I'll do is I'll add a dimension, which will turn out to be our length parameter. I can add a label to that parameter by selecting it, and then going in and adding the parameter. Since this template doesn't have any built in, we need to make one ourselves. So I'll select the Create Parameter button here, and I'll add a length parameter. doesn't really matter what this is right now because we're definitely going to go ahead and change it later. The next thing I need to do is select the bike rack family that we started with. And I'll use my array tool. With array, what I can do is I have the option to use second or last. In this case, I want to use last because I want it to infill between the start and the end point. So I'll pick my first reference plane and just move it to the second. And I'm not too worried about this number because that it's going to automatically be determined based on this length here. The next thing I want to do is make sure I use the Align and Lock tool to lock the second bike rack to this reference plane. So I'll use the Align, picking the reference plane first, and the point on the bike rack, and locking that. So now as I adjust this length parameter, the bike rack should move with it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a parameter to the array number. To do that, all I need to do is select one of my array objects, and then I can pick the array dimension, and I can actually add a parameter to this as well. So I'll use add parameter. And I'll give it a name. I'm just going to call it the number of racks just keeping it simple. And then you'll want to group this in something that makes sense. So I'll use identity data, so that'll be easy to find, and hit OK. Now from here, I can go into my family types, and I can actually add a parameter for number of racks. And I'm going to use the length parameter as part of that equation. So a common mistake that a lot of people make is that they will just add an equation. So I want to have the number of racks be based on the length. And so let's say I want one every two feet. So I'll say length divided by two feet. So what this will do is it'll take the length and then it'll divide it by two feet. If this length is less than, say, four feet, then what will happen is this number is only going to be two. And the goal is to have one every two feet. And so this is a little bit longer than what we were expecting. So what I want to do is I want to actually adjust this. And I want to have this equation within parentheses. And I want to add plus one into here. So anything that goes below, say, two feet or four feet, see if I'm at two feet now, and I hit OK, it'll give me two bike racks. But if you see, if I were to not have it set up that way, then I'm going to get an invalid warning, which is telling me that now, because I've got it set to length divided by 2, it equals 1, and it doesn't like that. So we want to make sure that we always have our parameters set up to be an equation and then giving us plus one when we're using it for this type of application. Now what's cool is I can go in and I can change the length to any number, and it'll extend the number of instances based on the length using that formula.